<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. Definitely back in the building. Another time, it's been a little while, but we back in here, dog. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is here, man. Got my man Angry Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. We in this thing, dog. We, uh, we going back to something that I've had before, but we never actually reviewed it on the show, all right? And it is black owned, all right? So again, shout out. To uh, one of our sponsors, <laughs> uh, the uh, Black. Uh, Why well, I can't talk, dog? <laughs> edible. Yes, it's the edible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's why. Taste of Black Spirits, dog. Shout out to the CEO, uh, Lazara Favors, man. Blessed us uh, with uh, Thoughts. All right, Thoughts is one of the many brands that you will see at the uh, Taste of Black Spirits, uh, which is going down in September this year in Detroit. Uh, already went down in Brooklyn, so it's, uh, it's getting kind of national at this point. Maybe even some international talks, but you haven't heard that from me. But, uh, yeah, so Thoughts is something that I had before at maybe, I think, the conference last year or maybe the year before. I, I can't really remember. Uh, Chase, uh, no, we had it. Smoke the on first the River. One. Oh, Smoke on the River. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. So, yeah, we had it there. And uh, R.I.P. I've got <laughs> yeah, R.I.P. <laughs> to Smoke on the River, man. I <laughs> I really hate that for them. I hate that for me. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, we getting ready to get into it now. I will tell you this though, um, it is only ninety proof, and I, I know that ninety is is higher for some people. But uh, when I say only, is because I'm with the proof hunters, which like they like shit that's damn near two hundred. I guess like I don't even know what the legal limit is. But uh, that would did, be pure alcohol, right? Yeah, there. It would be, and I don't, I don't think pure I pure alcohol. I don't think I want none of that. Dog. Um, I don't really know much about thoughts though. You had a couple of things on it, Angry Principal, or I know it's out of Colorado. The mm -hmm. uh, gentleman's name who owns it is a uh, Hardy Hippolyte. Okay. Okay. Shout um, out to Hardy. Gauge. You know, it's ninety <laughs> proof. Sells for fifty five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't remember. I know we tasted it, but I don't remember it. Yeah, so exactly. I'm, I'm curious what we're about to taste. See what it's gonna get there. into. Yeah, I. After I, I had it again, after that first time, which was like, you know, the other day, and it, I remembered at that point. But then uh, we'll get into that in, in a moment. <laughs> they also have a Manhattan cool uh, mixer. Yo, first of all, I guess it, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The Manhattan mix is trash. Okay. Okay. But <laughs> but let me, let me give y'all one more piece of that, though. It's in the freezer right now if you want to check it out. It's, all, it's a mix, and it's, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. So, I mean, yeah, we'll taste it. We'll taste it after what this. What you do with it is you add more to it. I think you have to. You, you have, have to. to, because that shit damn near tastes like liqueur. And that's what it is. So you, yeah, you make okay. it as strong as you need to make okay. it. Okay, because I had yeah. it by itself. I was like, oh, hell no. So then right. I decided, you know what, I'm going to put it in the freezer and see if it tastes better. So the, the name <laughs> of the company is. Uh, <laughs> Basically, <laughs> you know. Basically, the, the name of the company is, uh, the distributor is Creole Spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, Hardy Hippolyte is the owner. And they just sell the two things, which is the bourbon and the Manhattan. And the Manhattan mm -hmm. cocktail comes in at 30 proof. Oh, okay. Okay, that's why. Okay. Because I, I was like, what the go. fuck? Okay. Yeah, it, it's it's a very very low proof. Got you. Okay. All right. So we're that's we're why, good. There. We're that's good. why you 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 were you turn into a whiskey <laughs> snob all of a sudden. <laughs> Bro, I like, was like, yo, what is this shit? <laughs> okay. All right. We got it. You want so, to go join the Black Bourbon Society? <laughs> <laughs> right. So what we'll do though, I'll let you I'll let you guys see what I'm talking about after we're done here, and then maybe even we'll pour a little bit of that in there and see if it you know changes a little bit. Um, now the uh, the bottle has been opened already but we'll go ahead and pause for the cork anyway so all right let's see what this is <laughs> yeah it, it's definitely it's been, been, open. Open. <laughs> it's been open like a motherfucker and i've been I, yeah open and closed several times as hey. you can see <laughs> you got some city miles on yeah. right. <laughs> that was sloppy <laughs> 
Yeah, it's been in and out of that one, I tell you. <laughs> Keep them coming. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that shit was corny as hell. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so two, I'll say uh, shout out to Thoughts because I actually do have uh, a glass from them as well. Uh, I forgot the real word for it. Um, yeah. Yes, Glen Karen. Yes, I have one from Thoughts. Sniffer. Shout out to them. Sniffer. Sniffer. Yeah. What y'all getting off the nose? Apples. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely a fruit. Oh, definitely shit. Apples. Green apples. Yeah, mm-hmm. green apples. Because I was like, I must be missing something. Like, no, it's yeah. definitely green apples. Yep, definitely. Green apples and alcohol. Some, some kind of <laughs> caramel. Kind of a, a caramel. Kind of a caramel. Kind of like, like, sweet. Yeah, yeah, kind of a caramel apple. Yeah. <coughs> definitely that. Definitely apple. Apples. You know what this remind me of? Almost like a Granny Smith. Like warm apple cider. Warm apple yeah. cider. But you know, I was going to say, remember that one time you had some moonshine that was made out of apples, yeah. I believe? Yeah. This is what that tastes this like. This is exactly. This is that. Yeah. Except and it's, for it's been in a barrel. That's, and, that's about it. And it's not made with apples, though, right? No. Right. It's like, that's not that. in the profile, it said, nowhere. It said corn and other flavors. Yeah. It so it may got, have some added. It got some, yeah, it got yeah, something yeah. in it. It's not bad though. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a it's a little it's, kinda, it's a little sweeter. It's kind of just a drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this no. is this is for winter. Okay. You this think is so? Not a summer. This because it tastes like apple cider. But it also this just is, tastes like apples. And this I, is, yeah, this is something that it would have to be some type of warm apple cider winter wintery type drink. Like cuz like for me, I, you, it's, it's not strong enough on the palate mm-hmm. or the finish for me. You know, it's just kind of... It's a little peppery. A little I'm peppery. Not really. At not the end? Me. Yeah, it's a little peppery at the end. I don't have a hug, nothing. It's no, not a real hug, but like it's a little peppery. So it's, for me, it's something you got to... It's a mixer for me. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to say. It's a mixer yeah. for me. Did, did y'all want to try it with the Manhattan mix? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, like... Just tasting it right now. Okay. The and cigar, tasting what the mix was. It does something. The cigar brought the pepper out. Oh, maybe that's why. Okay, that's, that's probably what, why. That's okay. what brought the pepper out. But it, it must be because yeah, I, I got I got a gang of pepper on it. So <laughs> <laughs> a gang of it. It must be it must be the smoke. I'm, I'm still not getting much. It's still nothing though. But this is still a winner. Yeah. yeah. To me, you put this in your tea, mm-hmm. you put this in mm. you warm this up. Yeah. The hot toddy. It, 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 the hot toddy. Yeah, you can do what your grandma did. Yeah, Knock your cold out. So I will tell you this though. It it de- definitely doesn't taste as fruity as it smells. So I no I get no that. no. It, it doesn't do have that. a fruity yeah. taste at all, really. Like right. that. But it does. If you smell you it, get though, the apple. That's why I asked y'all. Like, hold on, what y'all getting off the nose? Nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing but apples. Minute, you know? <laughs> Straight. Yeah. What'd you say, Granny Smith? <laughs> yeah. Granny Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah for Granny sure. Smith. Yeah. All right, so I, I think that's the uh, that's our initial version. Did, did we want to <laughs> splash the? <laughs> you want to try it after the break? Yeah, let's try it after the break. We'll try it after the break. So we'll go to break real quick. You kind of got our uh, initial findings, but uh, we're going to get back to it. And, you know, after we get back, we got to do that uh, one to five Black Power Fist rating. So we're going to see you. Uh, what are we giving thoughts? What are our thoughts on thoughts? <laughs> you know I had to say that. that shit was corny as hell. We'll be right back, man. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Be back in the month. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through the commercial breaks. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back, of course. And now we're getting ready to uh, get into our ratings. But before we do that, though, I know we mentioned at the beginning that there was a uh, Manhattan mix by Thoughts, right? So we got that right here for you. It's the Manhattan mix. I had it in the freezer for a couple of days, so it's uh, thick like a Luke dancer right now. But we go, <laughs> we go see what's to it. Go pour <laughs> like that shit. Up. <laughs> Think like Luke dancer. <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd be add a little something to it because I I know what that tastes like by itself already, and I'm I'm yeah I'm not doing it so. I'm gonna give me a little dab in here. Just a little lighting up. Y'all wanna put so, something in it or y'all cool? 
Uh, yeah, let me put some in. So before we get started, I know that I put a little bit of water in it and it uh, helped with that apple taste. Okay. Whereas before we couldn't taste it, once you put the water in, it did help help with the apple taste. And the cigar really helps it. Okay. Now again, there's already an apple kind of sweet smell to it, and then with the Manhattan, it already smells like candy or something. So let's see what it's like together. What's going on with it? Now this makes it a summer drink. <laughs> this makes it summer. No, nah, it's still I winter. Think so. I think it's still winter. Still yeah. winter. It's still yeah. winter, but I can taste that that, that vermouth spice kind of. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It's definitely a cocktail now. Yeah, yeah. vermouth. Yeah, That's, it's, yeah. It's a cocktail now. It was very similar. It wasn't before, but now it is. That's it. I liked it before the Manhattan. You liked it before? Yeah. I agree. Kind of made my teeth hurt now. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of tastes like uh, cough medicine at the back end a little bit. I, again, I may just be biased because the Manhattan mix is just, I, I don't like it at all. I think it completely Have you ever had kills. it just a straight up Manhattan? I haven't. Okay, so. so <clears throat> that's, it's, this it's, is definitely that's a Manhattan, what it is. Manhattan mix okay. for sure. It's definitely okay. a Manhattan taste. Okay. Um, I'm not, I think I'm not I prefer the Manhattans, but. So what you saying? I'm with is, Bo. I prefer it by itself. By itself. Right? Yeah, Not certainly. Right. Yeah. Certainly, for sure, for sure. And I, and I, I don't know. I'm on the fence with with the uh, the season because I, I feel like mixed together. I feel like I can do this in the in the summer. You probably could with some ice in it. You know what I'm saying? Talking crazy yeah. to you people. Do I should be talking in the summer. So. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Hornitos. Reposado as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Hornitos, but we don't we don't review tequilas here. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, I think we're in agreement on that though. That by itself is probably the best way to go. For sure. If you're a Manhattan fan, this might be uh, something for you. Like I, I'm not sure about as far as the mix, but if we're looking at it just by itself, one to five, what y'all gonna give me? I'm a uh, angry prince. I'm gonna start with you. What you uh, what you think? One to five. All right, for a ninety proof mm-hmm. that smells like apples but doesn't taste like apples until you put water in it. Mm-hmm. I gotta go to two. Okay. And the price makes me. The price is the reason I'm saying it too. It's fifty five bucks mm-hmm. for ninety proof. Or when <clears throat> the other things I can get for ninety proof yeah. that are twenty or, bucks or a hundred proof that, yeah, are, that, that are way cheaper. Bucks cheaper yeah. yeah. So because I do like the proof, proof matters to me. Uh-huh. I have to put it at a two only because of the price point and. Um, yeah, just the price point is really gotcha. what it does for it. The taste is good. It's, yeah. it's not 50, a bad one. 55 is, uh, yeah. yeah it's 55 <laughs> is expensive for a, for a 90 proof. Yeah, I agree. I can agree with that one. Uh, all right, so you say you're going to give it a two. Uh, Bo, what you say? Um, I'm not too much different, actually. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm also going to give it a two. Uh, uh-huh. I'm okay with the taste. You know, it's not bad by itself. I don't know about what the man had mix in it. Um, it's okay by itself. Uh, a little, little on the weaker end for me. You know, I prefer something a little stronger. Mm-hmm. Um I would revisit it as as a mixer for something, mm-hmm. you know. I I don't think I would necessarily drink it by itself, you know right. what I mean? But um it's not bad. And for the price that, that that's the other thing too. Like 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 the, like uh, our anger <laughs> principal said. For the proof and that 55, you know, there's bottles cheaper with a right. much higher proof that I prefer, Facts. you know, than Yeah, I can agree with you on that. And I get it, you know, the boutique you know, distilleries and stuff like that. You know, they mm-hmm. typically be a little more pricier. I got that. But, uh, yeah, I, I give it a two. I give two. it a two. All right. On that note, I'm a, uh, I'm actually I'm going to give it a 2.5. Um, I like it by itself. I think 90 proof, uh, which is crazy because, again, when I started this, I was definitely on the, the other end of this. But at 90 proof, I think it's actually it's, it's decent for me. And I think it's a – I'm not even looking at it as seasonal. I know we kind of talked about that before. I can I, I do a lot of weird shit though, like you said, like with Hornitos, but <laughs> I can do this any season. But I'm gonna give it a two point five uh on two things. Uh because of the taste, I think the taste is, is good and, and I'm just I'm happily surprised that it doesn't taste like apples because of the way it, it smells. So because of that, I think that that's what gave me the two. And the point five, man, I have to be honest with you, the point five really comes because it's black owned. And uh like shit, I I just want to get them to nod, so I'm going to give it a 2.5. The mixture with the Manhattan, I'm completely against it. Again, if you are familiar and you like Manhattan mixes, then that could work. I wouldn't suggest the uh, the actual mix, but by itself, yeah, give it a nice little 2.5 on that one, Doug. It's a classic Manhattan. <coughs> yeah, 
yeah. taste. Right. It tastes like Manhattan. So, so if that's what you like, you will like, you like it. you like, you'll love it. Oh, yeah, you like yeah, Manhattan. Yeah. So. For sure. All right, well, so on that note, I think we're almost in agreement. I think they're, like, on the same line with the two, and I gave it, like, the 2.5. But still, I'll tell you this, though. It's still a good it's, it's still a good brand to to check out. And uh so make sure you check that one out. It's uh it's distilled with Colorado water, so maybe I'm a little biased to that too because I love Colorado, man. Shout out to Colorado. That's it for uh this week though. We're gonna move to some some other stuff and of course when we come back we'll probably be a hundred or over on the proof at this point because uh you know how these proof hunters like to do. But uh that's it. Till the next time. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is in the building, but now we're about to be out. My man, Angry Principal, off camera. Drink what you like, how you like. My man, Bo, in the building. Ross, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. I said, so, Drake, bro? Right. Oh, no. Check out previous no. episodes to understand say- what we're talking about, <laughs> I'll show y'all. <laughs> it's your boy, man. Q Lewis holding it down live for the 48205, man. Peace out, Chef.